Arizona State takes over at the four yard line. Danny Sullivan throws it deep on the out. McGahey the catch. First catch of the afternoon for Chris McGahey, the senior from right here in Phoenix. And the most prolific pass catcher in the Pac-10, active. And this is a perfect post corner. Watch, he's going to establish the threat on the post and then come to the outside. And this ball's thrown with great timing and placed over the head of the cornerback and in front and outside of the half safety. Gay Hay number three on the all-time list here at Arizona State in terms of receptions. Great drop with time. Sullivan throws it this side, and that ball should have been caught right through the hands of Javon Williams. Two pretty passes from Danny Sullivan. Well, this is the same route, just by a tight end and to the other side. And he's going to come from the inside, another corner route. And how do you not make that play at this level? Now, these are college athletes, but if you're going to be playing in the Pac-10 and you're in a big rivalry game, you have got to make that play for your quarterback. He's had a couple of drops today. Kind of short arm that one. So second and ten from the 27. Shotgun again. Quick out, complete. Nowhere to go though. Jarrell Robinson on the catch, but that was well defended. Devin Ross, the senior from Rancho Cucamonga, California. And when you have those kind of kinds of mistakes, you have a drop or you have the penalties like Arizona State has frequently on offense. It puts you behind the chains. You're not, you're not in the in the good second and third down situations. Arizona State should have been out near midfield with a first down. Now all of a sudden they have to hit a ball just to get to a third and six. Four receivers on third down. Nobody in the backfield with Sullivan. Has time again. Throws this way. That's complete at the 40-yard line. Terry Taylor the catch, and they'll move the chains. Third catch today for Taylor. Well, this was an impressive play by Trevin Wade, the cornerback. He had this route played well on the outside, and the ball beats him. An excellent catch by Taylor, but still Wade is able to make the tackle. If he <laughs> isn't able right. to bring Gary Taylor to the ground there, Taylor may still be running. I mean, if he loses that jersey, Taylor's gone. First and ten. They'll keep it on the ground this time. Nance breaking tackles close to another first down. So the last chance, last game for Arizona State, and they're moving the football now here in the fourth quarter. They'll give the heavies their due. The big guys up front are working well for Arizona State. They've established some tempo. You saw both guards in the center pulling on that play. And I really like the way that Nance is hitting the ball up inside between the tackles. He's been the heart and soul of this offense. 82 yards on 17 carries for Dimitri Nance. Gets the call again. Carries ahead inside the 45, and that's a first down. Good blocking up front again. That right side, Brent Good that time. Watch Nance. Yeah, Nance is running the football. We talked about how well he's done the last couple weeks. He was over 100 yards last week against UCLA, but today he's running the ball like this is a rivalry game. And even though it won't be his... You know, potentially his last game of his career. He'd like to get some more football in before it's all said and done. He's running like it's his last game. Since he's gotten healthy, that shoulder has been awfully effective. Dangerous pass complete. Williams up the near sideline to the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Devils. Four yards for six. Well, good quarterbacks can throw the ball from different platforms and with different arm actions. That's a nice little flick of the wrist there, a sidearm ball. And Cam Nelson, the safety's going to take a chance here for Arizona, and he's going to lose. All right, that is a perfectly thrown ball, a ball that could have been intercepted, but it was just thrown too well and a big play for Arizona State.
And we get it for this. Mikey might have got a flag after the play was over. Could have been a Sun Devil taking his helmet off before he got to the sideline. And this will only affect, I think, the extra point. This is going to be a long extra point try. Yeah, but what if, what if you have it at the normal spot and you go for two here? Now you back up, it takes you out of that. That's true, but I, I don't go for two in this situation regardless. So the extra point up and good. It's a four-point game. The offense was still on the field. Dennis Erickson trying to make a decision, and then the penalty backs him up. Touchdown nonetheless for Kyle Williams.